Hey guys, what's up? Well, I'm back to do another video for you here of another uh, life-size animatronic prop. And this one is obviously good old Frankenstein. He's really cool. This is another one that's huge in size. I actually wasn't expecting this guy to be quite this big. But uh, not only is he extremely tall, but his body is big. Uh, his hands are big. His feet are big. <laughs> Just everything about this prop is really nice very uh detailed and well done this is probably my favorite one so far i have had some problems with him though and i haven't sent him back yet but uh the arm stopped working when you turn the power on his arms don't raise up anymore so if anybody else has one of these frankenstein props let me know if you guys are having the uh same problems let's go check out some of the details start off with his face here you see he does have lovely details all in his face the color is very cool. Um, the scars look pretty realistic, as well as the hair. You see the bolts there look great. Uh, take around to the other side. If I'm remembering correctly, though, Boris Karloff in Frankenstein, I think he did have another scar right here, didn't he? But anyway, it's like a rubberized feel to it. It's really nice. Like I said, I love the detail in this guy. Everything from the hair to the ears, the scars. Very cool. Very nicely done. All right, then we move down. He does have uh, his fabric clothing on like most of the animatronic props. His shirt is a little bit thicker quality, or I should say his jacket. It's a nice uh, thicker cotton with some buttons actually sewn on. So that's very nice. It's got pockets. And uh, another great detail about uh, Frankie here is his hands. Uh, almost, I'd say halfway up, his arm is nice and fully detailed as well. Obviously, here's his hand. The only thing I don't like about his hands is they added this little, like, dark green. I don't really like that color of it very much. But uh, as far as fingers and stuff like that, it looks great. Um, I might, like I said, touch up this dark green. But as you move further up his sleeve here on his uh, left hand, he does have a big open gash as well as the stitches, which I think is just another cool addition. You know, they didn't have to do that because obviously the sleeves cover it, but just very cool. Unexpected, I guess, kind of. Uh, the other hand is just stitches. You don't really get that open gash on the other hand, but you don't really need it. Um, and then again here on the bottom, as with all these animatronics that I've been getting here lately, they all have just about the same exact type of base where you can either put it on a sensor so when somebody walks by it goes off, but I just keep mine on the push button because it does get very annoying with two dogs in the house and three kids. So... Uh, yeah, I just keep him. The shoes are nice. He does have little uh, platforms there on, on his shoes, so it's pretty cool. But i um, not going to plug him in right now, guys. If somebody would actually like to see him working, that's cool. But like I said, I've had problems with his uh, arms not raising up. So I was kind of disappointed about that. That stopped working rather quickly, actually. But uh, yeah, if anybody has one of these and knows if there's an easy fix, let me know. But there he is, guys. There is the life-size animated prop of Frankenstein. Like I said, be ready because he is big. His head is huge, his body's huge, and he's every bit of six foot six inches tall. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll come back and watch another video of mine, either the updates on my horror room or some more uh, animatronic props. Alright guys, take care.